Sergio, moving on, the Geneva Motor Show started last week. Uh, I believe it's open to the public now. You've handpicked three vehicles for us. Do you want to run us through that? Sure. Uh, the 2015 Geneva Motor Show is on. Um, sure, there's been loads of radical concepts and supercars and sport cars, but three models I think um, we should touch on. One is the Lexus LFSA. Um, it's an incredibly radical concept um, from Lexus of all people. Um, and also the Range Rover Evoque um, convertible. It's one of Land Rover's first convertible 4x4s, which I think deserves some attention at least. We have featured that car in previous Indeed, shows. but um, what's especially important about this Geneva show is that you actually get to see the car in action, okay. um, which for Land Rover is great because a lot of skeptics have said, how can um, a convertible 4x4 be on, this, on par with other Land Rover products? Another thing that should be highlighted at Geneva is, of course, the last Veyron um, was in show. Um, it still holds the record as the fastest production car, and number 450, um, aptly named La Finale, um, made its debut. Fantastic. Thanks, Sergio. Well, let's have a look. Lexus celebrated the 25th anniversary of its first model, the 1989 LS400 sedan, with a radical concept unveiled at the 2015 Geneva Auto Show. It's called the LFSA concept and stands for Lexus Future Small Adventurer. This means we could see a future production model based on this new concept. Here's hoping. Range Rover will add a surprising addition to its 4x4 lineup later in 2015. The new Evoque convertible. Ahead of its Geneva show debut, the drop top Evoque took on the 42 km crossrail tunnels 42 meters below the streets of London. The video released by Range Rover shows the drop top navigating the massive tunnel in a bid to prove to skeptics that the new convertible is every bit an off road performer. Bugatti showcased its last Veyron ever to be made at the Geneva Auto Show. The final model, aptly called La Finale, is the 450th Veyron to be produced at Bugatti's workshop in France. The Veyron still holds the world speed record for the fastest production car, clocked at 431 km an hour. Bugatti says it has no intention of leaving its Veyron without a successor, and says a new, even faster supercar could be launched in 2016.